We present MedNotes, a system which unifies documentation and information retrieval in electronic health records. It is a collaboration between Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and MIT. MedNotes is a prototype system which we deployed live among scribes in an emergency department. The system consists of two main components, a text editor which scribes use to write the medical note, and an attached card panel where scribes can see concise summaries of the medical record organized as cards. Our project is motivated by several problems we found in existing electronic health records. EHRs were adopted in hopes that they would improve quality of care, save time, and prevent clinical errors. But research has shown that clinicians often spend more time navigating EHRs than communicating with patients. And EHR usage is a leading cause of physician burnout and stress. EHRs often have separate interfaces or pages for accessing patient information and writing the note. This leads to frequent context switching and doctors cope by copying text from previous notes, leading to note bloat and possible errors. EHRs also separate information by type, for example, providing separate interfaces for medications, labs, and imaging. Doctors have to synthesize information from across the medical record to write data-driven narratives organized around problems. Doctors prefer to write with natural language, but the resulting documentation is unstructured and narrative text is difficult for algorithms to parse. MedNotes unifies documentation and information retrieval, provides concise concept-oriented views of the medical record, and enables automatic structured data capture in a natural language interface. Autocomplete is the primary mechanism for structured data capture in MedNotes. We hypothesize that autocomplete could enable structured data capture while simultaneously decreasing keystroke burden on clinicians. Our initial prototypes used a character trigger to start autocomplete, similar to dot phrases in EHRs, but clinicians disliked the trigger because it requires foresight to enter and a priori knowledge of the recognized terms. We replaced the trigger with a rule-based approach based on phrases, word boundaries, and punctuation. For example, the phrase presents with is commonly followed by a condition. However, this ranking is insufficient, either failing to display terms or displaying autocomplete unnecessarily. We improved the rule-based approach with a one-dimensional neural network, which predicts when to trigger and what type of concept to prioritize based on the surrounding context of words. Users were happy with the performance of the neural network, but expressed a desire to manually override the model to insert specific types of data. Finally, we provided slash filters to trigger specific autocomplete context. For example, slash C limits autocomplete to conditions. MedNotes transforms autocompleted terms into interactive elements called chips. These chips are linked to standardized medical ontologies. The ontologies include common colloquial abbreviations and shorthands, allowing doctors to use their preferred language to write the note. Users like the semantic highlighting so much that they would often go back and replace clinical terms using autocomplete to get the highlights. To automate this process, we implemented a modified version of AOCORSIC to automatically identify clinical terms anywhere in the note. We call these elements post recognitions, and they are distinguished from chips with a dotted border. Post recognitions create issues of ambiguity, clinical jargon is notoriously overloaded, and autocomplete relies on user selection to map phrases to unique ontology items. But post recognitions may refer to multiple ontology items. When ambiguities occur, users can click on post recognitions to disambiguate them. Autocomplete and post recognitions enable structured data capture and reduce keystroke burden, but we believe structured data capture could do even more to reduce the note writing burden. Medical notes contain large amounts of redundant text, mostly due to billing and legal requirements. MedNotes uses structured data captured earlier in the note, as well as data from the patient's medical record to automatically fill in later sections of the note. We call this default text. However, default text raises additional issues. Clinical terms are often associated with clarifying modifiers and specifiers, and it is important to retain the semantic meaning when copying forward clinical text. MedNotes uses a simple greedy algorithm and modified version of NegX to attach modifiers with clinical terms and detect negated terms. Here, the prefix algorithm associates left anterior with shoulder pain, and the NegX algorithm highlights the last phrase with an underline. Another way we take advantage of structured data capture is by surfacing concept-oriented views. MedNotes reduces the need for clinicians to hunt for and retrieve data by proactively fetching relevant data and surfacing it just in time. 
Here, a card for a cardiac condition shows relevant labs, cardiac testing, such as echocardiograms and relevant notes. Lab cards can be used to view lab data as a table, a line chart, or a box and whisker plot. In early prototypes, we displayed cards when users clicked a chip, but this created a two-step process. First, type the term with autocomplete, then select the term to see the card. To reduce friction, we automatically added cards to the sidebar when it is inserted with autocomplete, but this led to information overload. Too many cards were being added to the sidebar, potentially blocking out useful cards. We eventually streamlined our approach by dividing the sidebar into two. As users type and navigate the note, the closest term before the cursor is shown in a preview panel. Users can manually pin cards to add them to a persisted sidebar. This provides an always-on passive stream of information as the user works, but allows the user to bookmark and save interesting cards for later reference. The design decisions we just described took place over a year-long iterative prototyping process during which MedNotes was used by a clinician and the clinician's scribes to take notes for 1,185 patients. We then evaluated MedNotes in a month-long deployment with four scribes and took notes on 234 patients. The evaluation consists of usage statistics and interviews. One of the primary takeaways from the usage statistics is that users are willing to adopt many techniques for accessing documentation, but appear to have significant preferences for one technique or another. For example, while search is the predominant method for accessing cards, three scribes surfaced most cards by clicking post recognitions. Most scribes stated that autocomplete sped up their workflow, but adoption and usage changed based on scribe experience. Novice scribes found autocomplete helpful for things like spelling, while experienced scribes only found utility for longer terms. Scribes appreciated colored highlighting of chips in the note because it enabled rapid scanning. They also found it helpful that negated terms were visually distinct. Some scribes mentioned that they used color as a subtle visual cue to determine if anything had been left out of a section. All scribes found default text population useful, noting that it made the documentation process more efficient and that it felt less error prone than the checkbox system used in the original EHR. Scribes described many workflows for utilizing cards and noted that a single card could be used to dig into multiple aspects of the patient's medical history. During the deployment, MedNotes proactively displayed 3,614 cards. We believe MedNotes has the potential to make clinical documentation truly work for clinicians, and if you want to see more, please check out our paper.